create the switch on the car, we're going to pre-drill two holes here. If we take our ruler and bring it up from this edge and measure up, we're going to measure up a half inch and put a mark, and we're also going to measure up two inches and put a mark. It should be about in the middle from side to side, and these will be the two places where we want to drill. Make sure that you're not drilling into your motor. You only need to go about an inch down into here, or maybe three quarters of an inch. If you go through, it's okay. And always make sure that your hand is never on the back side of this in case you did go through. You wouldn't want to hit your hand. So that gives us two pilot holes. That's where we're going to bring in two screws. And you don't have to tighten this all the way down. Because we're going to be attaching a paper clip underneath this screw. And I do want you to thread this, even though you're going to take it back out in a minute. So again, about halfway down, and then you can pause and go grab a paper clip and needle those pliers. Take your paper clip, and you're going to straighten it out by hand. Then with your ruler, you're going to measure off four inches. and cut it. There's cutters on the inside here. On the one end, I'm going to grab it with the end of the needle nose pliers and I'm going to wrap it around and bend a hook. The hook should be the size that would hook onto the underneath the screws. You see that one was kind of tight, so I might need to open it up just a little bit. Like so, so it goes underneath that screw. The next thing that we're going to do is take our wire from our motor and it needs to get attached here. Now you can see here that this is quite long, so I will cut it back shorter. I don't need extra wire there. Don't cut it too short. Strip it back. And wrap and put a hook on the on the wire there and go underneath that screw too. So you have two things underneath that screw and then tighten it down. This is going to be kind of spring-loaded, so we're going to bend this up towards here. We'll be making a connection with the screw. When the when the paper clip is hitting the screw, it'll it'll complete the circuit after we put another wire in here. Now, what I don't like is this point sticking out here. So take your needle nose pliers, grab onto the very end, and just wrap it around in a tight circle like this. I don't want that point where it can injure somebody. So now this would be on for the car, this would be off. So let's work on that wire next. The third wire will be soldered onto this terminal here. So use the same procedure as before. We're going to stick the end through that hole halfway, fold it in half, and that gives us a hook. Close that hook. Apply the solder, or the heat to the top of the terminal, make sure you don't touch any plastic that would melt or, or the wood. And then from the other side, apply your solder, release, The other end of the wire is going to come up here and go inside the hole where this screw is. So what I'm going to do is remove this screw. I'm 
place the bare end of the wire into that hole, fold over, and then reinsert the screw in. You only have to go about halfway through. Now we've completed our circuit. So once the batteries are inserted, our electricity would be coming from the negative through this wire to the to this screw. And then when the circuit is closed, the electricity goes through the paper clip, through this wire, through our motor, spins the motor, out the green wire, and back to our battery pack. The continuous movement of electrons all the way through there to shut the car off. You would remove the paper clip so it no longer touches the screw. This opens the circuit so the electricity can no longer flow when the motor stops turning. Next part we need to do is put some batteries in. We also need to uh, apply a rubber band on our spindle around here and then around our wheel and then our car should be moving.